Hey folks, I wanted to record a video today about building the simulation without a GitLab account. Uh, so if we go gitlab.com, fsdk, so you'll need two sets of files in order to do this. You'll need the files from Simulator Date and the APSDK. You can go to the APSDK, just download the files here, I believe. Or oh, here's the link to download them. And let's zoom. Uh, and if we go back one level, so it's done, and we get Simulator Ape. Here we go. Simul similarly, similarly, uh, where are we? Downloader. Yep. Okay, that was a little bit. Now, show and finder. Okay, so here we have simulated ape and FSDK. So let's get simulated ape decompressed. Let's get ape D SDK decompressed. Now what we need to do here is rename this just simulated ape. What we need to do here is just rename this ape SDK. Let's have a look what simulated ape actually has in it. Okay, so simulated ape has a holding point for the ape SDK, which we don't need. So then we go ape SDK, just put the ape SDK in simulated ape. Next step, opening up simulated ape. So here we have the simulated ape project file. We open it up. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Trust and open. I trust myself. Maybe that's foolish. In any case. So we have this here currently in Xcode. Uh, I would prefer to do a release build. We actually do a release build. That's going to generate all the files. We don't need a release build. Pure window dressing. So what we need to do is clean the build folder, which I think is pretty well already clean, and build the project build. This will wear a bit, or things will whiz around. And already the fans coming on the machine. That's good. Let's see if we can run it just to demonstrate some bouncing. Some bouncing. Here we go. So this is simulated ape run outside the command line. Uh, and it's not running particularly quickly because this is the non-metal version. So let's quit our simulated ape. Uh, products show build folder. Products debug the simulated ape. Now we need to go to our console window utilities, terminal, rather our terminal window. And the first thing we need to do is we need to CD into where simulated ape is. So we're there, uh, CD contents, uh, Mac, OS. Okay, so we're now in the simulated ape directory. So what we're going to do is we want to run simulate ape with a dash C for the command line. Okay, so now we have the simulation. The control window isn't working currently through this, but mainly because what you get here um, is more advantageous. So we can uh, run forever. As you can see, it's not particularly fast. Well, it's a little bit faster than usual. But here you get the simulation here, and you get all the command line advantages here. So list will show you a list of the apes help will show you all the uh, stuff so name current watched ape so if we type ape okay that's the current ape that's being watched list okay let's follow this ape Watch. Okay, so watch. There we go. It's 
So we have what would normally be displayed in this window. It's being displayed through the text interface. Anyway, so that's how you run build and run simulated ape from the command line. Uh, but I thought this was a useful video to people that want to do that. Tom Bubbly in Las Vegas, Nevada, signing out.